What is going on guys, Tiswafa here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we actually bought some new things such as a street light and some fa we actually crafted some fancy stone pathways right here. We all, we actually bought the recipe last episode too, but yeah, we, st we started making some of those things and placing them all around the farm for, you know, just kind of spice up the farm a little bit, you know, make it look a little bit better as well. Let's put those lamps in like the, uh, the, the greenhouse and even the new shed that finished last episode, you guys. So definitely want to check up on that because we put coffee beans in there and they're obviously going to be done by now, right? But yeah, you can see, looks like later today, or later this episode, we're going to have Elliot's birthday, so I suppose we can see what we know of him. We don't know, oh wait, we know he likes crab cake. Actually, yeah, you know what? Um, Gus said he has like a special on crab cakes, and I wonder if that's still happening. I guess we could buy some and then give that to Elliot tomorrow for his birthday, huh? And then pomegranate and then a bunch of other things we don't know about. So I think that whenever it's great, I think it means that we know that he likes it or loves it or whatever, but we've just never given it to him yet. And I guess the bok choy and the tulip, I guess we've given that to him already, right? That's why it's like black instead of gray. Uh, same thing with the quartz and the salmon berry. <laughs> of course he hates those. Of quartz he hates. I'm not even going to finish that. Anyways, weather report. We already know it's raining right now, so what we need to do is go catch the walleye fish. That's going to finish up the fish, like 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 the river bundle or uh, the night fishing bundle, I think. Yeah, and that's going to finish all the ocean bundles. And I guess that glistening stone or whatever is going to get removed finally. And we'll be able to figure out what that finally was, because I've always guessed that it was that stone that's over by the mines, because that's like the only stones that look like they're glistening. But I guess we're going to find out here later this episode once the Junimos remove that, right? But let's check on the weather for tomorrow. It's going to be clouded with gusts of wind. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and speaking of rain as well, on top of the fish that we have to get while it's raining, uh, I do want to make more of those lightning rods and, you know, take advantage of us, you know, the, the rain that's happening right now and get more uh, batteries and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure we're able to make that. I think we just need refined quartz, gold, or iron or something like that, and maybe one other thing. I don't know. We'll look at that here in just a minute. But Fortune Teller says, uh, mildly perturbed. Eh, not that big of a deal, I suppose. Then living off the land, we've got... Ooh, some farmers have reported strange things happening when large field of cauliflower, melons, or pumpkins reach maturity. Huh, I can't verify it myself. Yeah, we already know about that, yeah. Whenever you have like a 3x3 three three of like cauliflower, melons, or pumpkins. And by the way, I already watered all the, the random indoor cactus right there. I took care of a few things already before I started the episode. But yeah, we already know about the giant melons, giant pumpkins, giant cauliflower, so I don't think I chance, right? But yeah, so we still have the stone floors. We placed them over there by the shed uh, just because it was like 1 a.m. and we were running out of time. So so I suppose we can continue removing some of the uh, some of the stone paths over here and just continue uh, replacing them all with a much more fancy looking stone floors or whatever that's called, right? So let me just do this a little bit as well as I can't really see too well right now. Uh, I believe at noon or so. Oh, man, that got rid of a torch right there. Whoops. I believe at like noon or something like that. That's when we need to start fishing for that wall eye uh, fish because it's, it's you know during the rain, during the fall, I think. And. Let me, let me look it up real quick. Hold on. Walleye. As well as so we need to fish for salmon, too. And I believe these should be able to... We should be able to find both these in the same spot, right? Uh, in the rivers. Yeah, we have to wait until noon and then uh, backwoods, forest, mountain, or town. And I'm pretty sure the salmon, I could find that in town. So hopefully we can do more of that. Because we only got one last episode. We need to fish up ten of them to finish Demetrius's mission before next Monday. Which is Thursday right now. Wow. And... Oh, yeah. Also, last episode, we started... Uh, I think Robin's starting to build this now. The fish pond. So we should be able to get this row stuff, which I'm like, you're not really getting that much money out of 82 gold. Someone did say, oh, I guess if you put it inside of a keg or something or a preserving jar or whatever it's called, I guess we're going to make the money a little bit better. 229, 287. Someone said, what was it called? Sturgeon? Sturgeon row. How much is that? 130. Oh, yeah. They said we can get caviar. Ooh, yeah. We get caviar when you put it in the preserves jar. How much is that worth? So it's 130 on its own. And I believe that means, I don't know if we have any sturgeon right now, just up in storage. I need to look at that. Uh, what was it called? Caviar. Artisan goods. Oh, wow. Yeah, really good money there. 700 gold. Man, that is good stuff. But it probably takes a long time inside of the preserving jars or whatever, right? But it'll probably be worth it because, golly, 700. At least compared to, like, the other crops that we're working on right now. Uh, like like the yams and all that kind of stuff that are only worth 500 or so. Yeah, that's pretty good money there, you guys. Do I have any sturgeon here, though? Yeah, I'm not seeing it here, unfortunately. I might have already sold the sturgeon. When do you get the sturgeon, by the way? Can I get that, uh... Oh, so, well, I can get it next season. I can get it in the winter, though, so... We can look forward to that next season, right? So that's going to be good, but... Is there anything else in here that might be... Like a midnight... Is, is that going to be good? Can I get anything out of that? Man! Midnight squid... Midnight carp... Oh, here we go. Midnight squid row. 224... And pretty good money there, I suppose. Midnight carp. Yeah, I don't know if we can do that. I, th I think you only get that during that one mission, right? And then Midnight Squid Row. Yeah, seam and then Aged Row. All that kind of stuff. Uh, what about the Spookfish? 
Now let's do that. There we go. Spookfish 343. And Winter Night Market Submarine. Yeah, we have a spookfish right there. Does it does it spook fit? It does. Row for 140. Eh, not bad. The aged row is 392. Honestly, that's pretty good. I don't know if there's anything else. Ghost fish. Ooh, what about that? Hold on. Ghost fish row? Probably should have done this before I start. Oh man, 52. That's lower than like the 70 that we saw earlier. Yeah, the ghost fish isn't really that good, unfortunately. At least just looking at this, right? Golly. Herring and whatever else. Halibut, carp, anchovy, sardine. Maybe the salmon's good? I don't know. Oh yeah, largemouth bass. What about that? Large mouth bass, like row and whatnot. Yeah, 224. I think the uh, spook fish or whatever that was. That, that's still the best at like 300 something, right? So I guess if anything, if, if she finishes today or later this episode, whatever, uh, we could actually go over there and grab the, uh, put the spook fish in there, right? And I, I, oh yeah, I got a comment last episode saying, yeah, why are you still carrying around the milk bucket? Uh, this right here, milk pail, whenever I have the uh, auto grabber. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. I should probably put the milk bucket up over here in storage there you go and i also got another comment by the way yeah need to make sure we pet these guys every single day because with the auto grabber like i'm always forgetting to pet these guys unfortunately which really sucks uh but yeah i also got another comment saying hey every four days is when you get something from the bunnies or something or bunny rabbits whatever they're called so that kind of sucks there but i guess yeah it makes sense let's put the milk pail up there yeah i'll put the uh triple shot espresso up there instead so there we go and i think i pet everyone in there and uh let's go check them on the chickens and all that real quick too as well as to pet them don't want to forget about that and uh yep they have plenty of mayonnaise right there as well as a bunch of eggs and it is duck egg day today so we're getting a pretty good amount of oh man and there's a duck in their way right there Y'all yeah, need a chill, Bert. <laughs> Let me make sure I pet all the ducks and, and chickens and, and, and rabbits and whatever else over here real quick. There we go. And I think we got everyone. Yeah, I think. Oh, man, I got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pick up the mayonnaise, too. There we go. And put the eggs up inside like so. There we go. Poo. <laughs> Poo the chicken right there. <laughs> and there we go. Cool. I even got a comment uh, regarding the shed. Say I need to put like a preserving jar or a keg on the outside just kind of signal oh all the uh and i might as well sell all this stuff up inside here uh there you go cool and then yeah let's start replacing some of the stone floors over here uh just kind of on our way over to there there we go go check them on the shed because i did say coffee's in there and it obviously is done by now yeah see that looks a million times better and yeah yeah, yeah. another thing i want to do and you can kind of hear robin in the background building the <laughs> yep there she is right there building the fish pond uh i do want to make more Bee nest bee houses or whatever right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at all the coffee done right there. Amazing. Yeah, let me grab some more. Yes, yeah, let's, let's get more coffee beans. Yeah, let's get more. Just because I'm like, we haven't, we've had melon juice or whatever in there for like a literal week or whatever. So it, we haven't been able to get any coffee. We've been kind of running low on coffee. We might as well start making more of it so I can make more uh, triple shot espresso and whatever else, right? But I do want to remember, and yeah, let's put the extra coffee up inside there. There you go. Uh, I do want to remember to go buy the crab cakes for Elliot's birthday tomorrow, so let's not forget about that. And then if I wanted to make the bee houses, what do I need to make those? Kind of want to see. Uh, can I just hover over and then do that? Yes. Eight coal, iron bar, maple syrup. Yeah, we can do that. No problem. And I said I wanted to get one, two, three, four. I could probably get five and then maybe another five or so right here. Yeah, that's pretty, that's completely doable. Let's definitely consider doing that, you guys. Now, what does it look like? I'm curious. Having a double wide of this. Like, like for the inch. Oh, whoops. Man, hopefully that didn't heck something up right there. Uh, there you go. But hopefully, uh, hopefully this looks good whenever it's like double wide like this. Because I'm like, I never made the, the pathway go all the way out to the edge there, unfortunately. As well as, yeah, not only do I want to make more bee houses or bee nests, whatever. I need to figure out what that's actually called. <laughs> uh, I need to, I also wanted to make. Oh, okay, so it just looks more like that. Okay, that's cool. It's like got a little curb or whatever. Man, I hecked that up right there. <laughs> I'm going to get more of it just by one stone, right, in my inventory. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's just get... Yeah, maybe like 25. That's fine right there. Not bad. At least I still have 20 uh, stone in my inventory for whatever reason. I never use it for anything else anyways. But there you go. That looks pretty good there. Then go all the way up to like, say, here. Can we go all the... Oh, yeah. Wow. You look at that. I can make it go all the way to the edge. Make it look like it goes completely off screen. Amazing. There you guys. Cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, to get the lightning rods or whatever. Yeah, we should we should do that as well as the bee nest as well. Let's get the corn because that's done because that was, that was a crop that we had during the summer that also grows during the fall. So let's definitely do that. And then uh, I guess we'll just go inside here to check, see what it looks like. Yeah, so we're going to make two more lamps right there. Uh, but yeah, the lamps are actually pretty good. Let's use that to teleport back over to here. It's 1150 already. So it's almost time to go fishing for the... Uh, ooh, there's some fancy music playing right now. <laughs> but it's almost time to go fishing for the... Uh, for the what is it called? The wall eye. So let's definitely do that here in just a bit. So we haven't, I'm like, we have until 2 a.m. to do it, but you know, still have maximum time to do it. Do I have much, 
Now we got 45 bait. Do I want to get any of the wild bait though? How do you get that again? Bug meat fiber. Yeah, we should be able to do that if I get some of the bug meat in the slime and put it out in the chest over here, right? Where's the bug meat? There. We have a little bit of bug meat, not that much. I thought we had more than that. And then we got a little bit of slime right there. I guess I'll put that up over here, at least temporarily. There you go. I did get some comments from you guys saying, uh, yeah, you can get quartz, you can get refined quartz by putting quartz in the furnace, but remember you can get three quartz from putting fire quartz in the furnace. So I don't know how many furnaces we have. Let's get like five of those. I'm like, oh, I have 10 of them anyways, right? So there you go. And uh, I guess we'll get five of those. Maybe we'll get a little bit of wood and get some more charcoal just cause, uh, yeah, 330, yeah. Just cause I'm going to be using a pretty good amount of that. We need that anyways for uh, the bee houses or whatever, right? So let's definitely get those going over here. So fire quartz. Oh yeah, we have, uh, how many is that? Seven of these? So yeah, we have plenty over here. Not that big of a deal. Then we have three of these charcoal kilns. So we're going to get a little bit of uh, charcoal, coal, whatever right there. So that's going to be good. But I do want to make the kegs. So let's put these back up in there. And, uh, or not the kegs, the bee houses. I can make four of them right now with how much uh, coal I have. Yeah, the coal is the thing that's pulling me back or uh, whatever right now. So uh, that kind of sucks. Four more bee houses. Honestly, it's pretty good. I like that. Do we need coal for anything else? Like, say, the lightning rods? No, you just need the bat wings. So, yeah. Let's get the bat wings from over here because we have 200 of them. Jeez. Let's put those up inside there, at least temporarily. We have one refined quartz right now. We're going to need a lot more here in just a minute. I don't know when those are going to be done, but there we go. Four bee houses. That's amazing there. Then, uh, what was it? How many, uh, slime incubator? <laughs> okay, so I can make one of these randomly. Hatches slime eggs into slimes. Allows you to raise slimes outdoors. Oh my gosh. So it's kind of like the regular chicken incubator, but for slime egg. I'm like, I've never even come across a slime egg. So what am I really going to do with that, right? <laughs> I can make one more lightning rod right now, which is pretty good. I like that. I just don't know where to really put it, honestly. Uh, we can go outside and check and see whether or not uh, th th those things are done smelting. I guess we'll go look at those real quick. And they're not done just yet, but let's teleport over to here. So we can lay down those uh, bee nests, bee houses, whatever they're actually called. Golly. But did I ever, uh, there they are right there on the, on the end. So what are they actually called? I don't want to see. What in the world? A bee house. That's what it's called. <laughs> so there you go. Cool. So now we have a bunch of bee houses around here because apparently just one flower is good enough and uh, I might as well. Oh, that whoops, this coffee. Let's get the espresso. It's nearly over here. There we go. Cool. As well as I said I wanted to get wheat. I guess we can go over to Pierre's shop and hey, look at that. Some of the coal is done. Cool. Because I grab that. There we go. Cool. And uh, this is taking a while. How, when, when is this going to be done? Uh, 30 minutes. Okay, so it's almost done here in just a minute. Uh, I guess we'll put another lightning rod, like say. Oh, someone said something about putting a lightning rod like on grass and it'll be like floating. I guess we'll try that. So is this... I don't know if that actually worked right there, but there you go. Now there's a lightning... And like they're pretty close to each other. That almost done now. 10 minutes. Okay, it's almost done. It's 1.30 right now. We still have plenty of time. Not that big of a deal. And there you go. Okay, we got refined quartz. Yep, we did indeed get three from each one right there. You guys are indeed correct. Amazing job there. Let's put the uh, refined quartz. And let's see how much we can get. We get only two more. Okay, <laughs> I guess the thing holding me back is the iron bars now. Do I have any uh, iron just ore in there that needs to be smelted? Uh, I don't... I don't uh, a little bit, but I don't have enough to actually get an ingot out of that, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. But at least we have the lightning rods. I don't know. Maybe we can go, go mining or something. Get a little bit more, but... I don't know how many lightning rods we have in total now, but it's a pretty good amount. It should be able to protect most, if not all, of our uh, area over here. So we have a we have a lightning rod. We don't really have a lightning rod over here. I should probably put one here. Yeah, let's put one like right here. This is pretty good. That at least will protect this area. We have one over there. Let's put one because I do want to you know protect the crops and whatnot. Let's put one like say like right. What about on that corner there? Like is that going to do anything? Like. Yeah, nothing can get in and out of that anyways. I might as well put a lightning rod there and actually take use of it. Cool. So there you go. Cool. And uh, I might as well actually go fishing for the heckin' fish now. And I don't think I'm able to fish for it with the uh, live bait or what. Oh, yeah. And I was going to build uh, pathways here, too. So I guess we'll do this. Uh, oh, whoops. Did I just throw it? <laughs> I just threw those away right there. Golly. Like, why? Why is it doing that? Man. Can you really not, like, put stuff in front of the... Yeah, look at that. It just goes right back into... <laughs> Okay, whatever. Maybe I have to pick that thing up, move it, and then play stuff out, and then put it back down. I don't know. Golly. But let's go over here. Let's go fishing for both salmon and the walleye. Uh, and there's a plum right there. Someone actually commented last episode, and I was like, why is there wild grapes if I could just grow grapes? Uh, apparently, that's actually blackberries. I guess they look very similar, right? Uh, we do have a mission on the board over here. I guess we'll look at this real quick. Whoops. Uh, I forget what time. What time does... Uh for someone to bring me 30 copper. I'm not able to do that, unfortunately. I hate to say that, Clint, but it's just the truth. Let's get some wheat over here, though, because we have all that area where all the coffee was growing. I said, yeah, let's actually start planting uh, wheat over there instead. Yeah, 10. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know how much coffee we had, but pff, I don't know. I'd say probably 100 seeds is probably good enough. 
Yeah. I'm like, I'm not even noticing. Like, golly, I might as well get 200. There you go. Let's get another 100. Just because why not? Ba-boom. There you go. <laughs> Man. And they're already, uh, most if not all of them, are fertilized if they didn't get tilled over or, uh, like, untilled or whatever, right? So, yeah, we have 200 seeds right there. That's going to be amazing, guys. But I suppose, yeah, let's go over here. Let's go fishing. I don't know when the salmon are going to stop being catchable or whatever you want to call it here, unfortunately. So, uh, hopefully we can still... Wow, got a max cast right there. Amazing. So we're going to be fishing for both the walleye and the salmon here. Hopefully we have good luck catching either one of them. I assume they're going to be similar, if not the same difficult. We got a Joji Cola. I'm like, the Joji shop's like right there. I'm not too surprised. But uh, let, me, let me just keep fishing here and I'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens. <laughs> oh, I got a perfect. What's it going to be? We got the walleye right off the bat. Amazing. So we finished the community center now, you guys. Amazing. Hold on. Uh, yeah, we have until 2 a.m., but what about the Salomon? That is until... Okay, 7 p. Okay, yeah, we, we have plenty of time here. Yeah, let me keep fishing here. Uh, the community center doesn't close at any time anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Let me keep fishing until 7 p.m., just so I can hopefully get more uh, salmon, just because I only caught one so far, and we need to catch 10 of them before Monday, so I'll let you guys know if I catch any more salmon here. Wish me luck. Oh, man, Amphi I caught an amphibian fossil and a uh, coal right there and another walleye right there. Cool. Uh, those were inside of a treasure chest, by the way. Ah, uh, man, well, that sucks. We got a smallmouth bass right there, but I got like two or three treasure chests so far. We got some bait and more geodes right there. I even caught a uh, new record catfish. It was 30 inches, which is crazy as well. Some topaz from a treasure chest. Uh, shad, we got a green algae, some geodes. Even got some wild bait, too, which is pretty good. And uh, I don't know if I recorded this, but got some amphibian and amphibian fossils as well, so that's pretty cool too. Uh, and I guess I could just drink the co Joja Cola in a little bit of an inventory space, because I do, while I'm in the area, I do want to go buy those crab cakes, like I said, as well as uh, go to the community center. So let's go over here, and I'm probably to drink a... Man. Okay, let's just do it while we're on the inside of the saloon. <laughs> but I do want to get some crab cakes over here. Need a hot drink? Oh, I've got one right now, don't worry about it, Gus. Blip, 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 blip. Yeah, drinking right in front of the heckin' bar owner guy. <laughs> It's just like spitting right in his face. Anyways, anything good here? Uh, tor tortilla, coffee, 300 golly. 550 for crab cakes though, golly. Does he only have one? Oh, I guess he has unlimited, okay. Well, at least I have that. that that's going to be a really good thing for, uh, whatever his name is. <laughs> Elliot. But, uh, 225 energy, 101 health, one speed, and then one defense. For 550, do I have the recipe for, like, do I know how to make my own, like, crab? Cake? Crab? <laughs> Maybe I can get- Yeah, you know what, let's buy another one to make a crab cake shirt, I suppose. <laughs> but, uh, crab cakes. I'm like, I know the recipe here, but does my character know? Like, like, for realsies. Like, is this cheating? Is this, like, telling me the recipe even though I don't actually know the recipe? Oil crab and then wheat flour. We could do that. I just need to make the wheat flour. I need to get that mill thing, or whatever it's called, right? And we have wheat right now, so we're probably gonna get, uh, the ability to make those pretty soon. Then, yeah, we have crab pot. Oh, yeah, what about aged crab row? Yeah, 224, yeah. Like I said, I'm probably going to go with that ghost fish or whatever it was, right? Unless you guys have any uh, better suggestions in the comments, right? But for right now, uh, should I just talk to everyone? I'm like, I don't have anything to gift anyone. I've got regular corn, which we don't have a good experience in the past <laughs> gifting that to uh, Pierre, right? So I don't really want to do that. And we have mildly perturbed spirits or whatever today. I guess I'll check them on the trash cans anyways, even though I don't have any inventory space. But, uh, yep, there you go. Nothing really good there. Oh, wow, oh, Mayor Lewis. Whoa, what are you doing? Yeah, there's Clinton right there, too. But yeah, let's go up to the community center. Let's go drop off the final fish for the, like, night fishing bundle, as well as just generally the fish area itself. We're going to finish up this, and then overnight, the Junimos are going to remove the glistening boulder or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gl gl glittering boulder removed. This is going to be finished here in just a minute. And where in the world? Which one do I do? Yeah, let's do a Silver Star one, sure. There you go. Bundle complete. And there you go. What are we going to get as a reward? We got a small glow ring. I guess we'll just sell that to, uh, because I think we have a regular size glow ring, right? Oh, we got the Junimos. We're going to repair the main lobby area or just that corner of the area there. I don't know. When we're done here, we'll return to the other world. Whoa. Yeah, they just repaired this one little corner here, unfortunately, so that sucks. Oh, they'd repair the entire. I guess the rest of this gets repaired when the whole entire. Whoa, ancient alien language. Well. Wait, should I know? Oh, yeah, no, I, I know the Dwarvish language or whatever it's called. Not the Junimo language, unfortunately, so that sucks. But yeah, it looks like they fixed that corner over there, which is cool. And then this guy's just going to follow me around. And yeah, look at that. Just one more star left, which is going to be... Where is it? Oh, yeah, the bulletin board over here. Yeah, which uh, we, we're already on track to finishing here pretty soon, you guys. Chest bundle. We're waiting for the pig. I think it's like... 
I don't know, one, two episodes from now, the pig's going to be able to forge for truffles or whatever. Enchanter's bundle, once the, the pomegranate tree's done, same thing with the apple tree over here, and we'll be done with that. Like, we're on track there. Like, the main thing that was holding us back over here that I was, like, uncertain about was the rabbit's foot. Well, we got that, like, last episode, two, two episodes ago or whatever, right? So, yeah, we're going to be finishing this, like, I don't know what episode this is right now, but definitely before episode 100, I'll tell you that much. Golly. Now, is there anything else I want to do here, though? Uh, I, I guess, yeah, it's going to take me a little while to go plant down all that wheat that I bought, uh, especially if I have to retill the land, which I don't know if it got, like, untilled, because it is raining. I don't know if it got untilled during this. Maybe it only does it whenever it's, like, a normal whatever day. And, yeah, speaking about that ring, we have a small glow ring. Yeah, see, I have a regular glow ring right there anyway, so I might as well just sell that to the, uh, to the travel, or what is it called? I forgot what it's called. Adventures Guild. Uh, but over here, yeah, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> like, I wanted to, uh, I might as well just dismount, and then, uh, see, I, I wanted to put the pathways like this, but, uh, the... Oh, there we go! If you just slightly out it, There we go! Nice! Okay, cool. And, uh, yeah, just make the pathways go all the way up like so. Cool! I just need to make more over there, and that'll be done, but... Yeah, look at this! I'm liking this pathway over here, you guys. This is looking really good. But, uh, let me just put up all the random stuff in my inventory real quick. Just clean it out a little bit, you know? Yeah, you know, I mean, let's just get some more wood. Get some more charcoal out of that, I suppose. Might as well get it working for us, I suppose. We'll be able to make more of those bee houses or whatever they're called, right? So that's good. And then I l l let me go down here, see how much of this is, uh... Some of it's untilled, but a lot of it still looks tilled, which is good. Yeah, see, look at that. Honestly, a most of it's still tilled, which is great. So I just have to retill this, and then it's already raining out, so I don't have to manually water it, right? So this is really good here, you guys. And there you go. I think all of them were planted there. Uh, it's 1240 right now. I do still have a little bit of speed. I'm, I'm going to go down there again. Go grab all the all, all the pine tar and maple syrup and oak resin. I need to grab all that as well as maybe while I'm on the way out. Uh, I could hit this with the sickle. And get rid of some of the extra random trash like this. Yeah, there you go. I don't think the uh, little baby sapling tree things are going to get affected by that. That, that should still work there. Pretty good there. That's 120. Do we have any lightning rods I need to place down? I don't think so. Yeah. The only thing, yeah, the main thing that was preventing me from making more of them was more iron. Unfortunately, I don't have any of that, so that kind of sucks. Do we have more coal there? Do I want to smelt uh, any more wood overnight to get more? It's only 10 wood to get one coal, yeah. There you go, sure. Why not? There you go. Uh, is there anything else I want to sell overnight? 1.30 a.m. I... I don't know if I can go grab, like, oh, 140 a.m., never mind. I don't know if I can grab the mayonnaise and the cheese and whatever else fast enough, but, yeah, 140 a.m. is a little bit too late now. <laughs> oh, I didn't wake up my dog right there with a heckin' weird drum machine and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, 150 a.m., once again, like, right at the very, oh! Yes, that is! I knew it! Like, that stuck out like a sore thumb, like, random, like, glistening rocks right there, like, blocking the passageway in the mines. And now they're going to be removing that. And we got level 8 fishing right there, and plus one rod. Fishing rod a proficiency. We got a worm bin. I wonder what that's for. Maybe it's just for storing extra bait or something like that. I don't know. Instead of a chest. I don't know. Uh, and then, yeah, speaking of such, you guys even said, like, every day that Robin, uh, like, every day you visit Robin, unless she's, like, working or whatever, she's going to have different stuff on sale. So, like, yesterday or last episode or whatever, it was, like, birch dressers or whatever. Hopefully she has something better uh, today, especially when she's done building the, like, fishing pond or whatever. Anyways, I, I kept saying whatever like 40 times there. We got a dressed spinner, which I think we already had. I think we bought that. And then barbed hook. I want to look into those. But now we have the recipe to make those if we want to, right? And overnight, we got about five grand. Yeah, the normal, you know, from the cheese to mayonnaise, all that kind of jazz. Nothing too special there. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. But Fragus has been saved as day five of fall year two has begun. And once again, I'm going to water all this random cactus just because I kind of got myself into this. Golly. There we go. <laughs> and they're actually starting to grow there. Is it going to tell me inf any information? No. Still says garden pot right there. I know I own five of these and crafted four of them. Yeah. N nothing too crazy there. And yeah, we already know it's Elliot's birthday today. We already have the crab cake ready to go. But the weather tomorrow is going to be cloudy with gusts of wind just like today. So nothing different there. Fortune teller says uh, somewhat annoyed today. Man, that sucks. <laughs> and I, yeah, I even got some comments of you guys saying I need to experiment more with the... Uh, the sewing machine and all the kind of jazz. I'll definitely have to do that here in the future, but for right now, yeah. I'm gonna grab or uh, put up some of the random stuff that I'll uh, sack up like so, and there we go, not bad. We've got some extra coal there. Yeah, I, I, if we go back to the, whatever it's called over there, I guess we'll uh, go sell the, the, the Adventures Guild. We'll sell the glow ring and maybe some other random trash here too, right? But we have 10 coal now, so we should be able to make another one of those bee houses. Uh, let me, let me check. Let me double dig, because we used a pretty good amount of wood. Oh, yeah, that requires iron bar, too. Yeah, that, that's probably why we don't have any iron. We used it for the bee houses. 
and then also for the lightning rod, so that kind of sucks there, right? But let me put up some other random trash like so. Uh, let me let me double. Is it on here? The crab cake? That's not. Uh, yeah, it's a tortilla right there. I don't know where the crab cake is on this. I think that's it right there. I think that's the. Is it going to tell me? Oh, yep, there it is right there. <laughs> the mod that tells the, the built-in wiki mod like it's a cheat. Yep, I do not actually have the recipe for that. So even if I wanted to make more of them, and I'm not able to do that just yet, though. So that kind of sucks. I guess if Gus is still selling them, maybe I'll buy it again. And then we could use that for whatever reason. I don't know what we'd need. Plus one speed and then plus one defense for But pretty good amount of energy and health, though. But I don't know if I'd spend 500 gold just for that, right? The chowder and whatever, whatever else. So if you just get the espresso like I wanted. There you go. And uh, we have three espresso right now, so five. There you go. And let's get a sixth. And let's get our morning brew. There you go. Triple shot espresso just to get our morning started, right? And we have some regular coal I need to put up in the regular chest, too. So, uh, or corn, not coal. <laughs> I must have got that random piece of bait right there from fishing. So there you go. So we get a bait. I don't know where to put that. Uh, I'm like, I have the bait chest or whatever. What was that called again? This thing right here. Worm bin produces bait on a regular basis. Ooh, the worms are self sufficient. Huh. I don't have any iron though. I don't have it. If I had one iron bar, I have the gold bar. I have the hardwood. I have the fire. I think I still have the fiber. I had hundreds of them, but I don't know where they went though. Yeah, I still have the fiber. I just don't, I, I can't make that right now because I don't have the heckin' iron. So I need to go mining again. Golly. I wish I could do that though. Making, making bait just randomly. That's, that's really powerful there. But anyways, let's just go outside and let's see if anything's happening out there. Yeah, we have the coal that's done. There you go. As well as the chickens, the cows, all the kind of jazz over here. Let me just pet all of them at once. I guess I could grab all their mayonnaise and uh, eggs and or whatever, mayonnaise, cheese, whatever else around here, as well as uh, I probably should have planted more uh, grass stores over there now that I think about it. Golly. Whatever. Anyways. Uh, oh, yeah. Today's a goat milk day. Awesome. Let's definitely do that because we're going to be getting some really good money from them. 800 gold, I believe, from each goat milk. That's Oh, yeah. I said a uh, that was the reason why I wanted to go to Marnie last episode, and I completely, like, she was closed or whatever, like, I was, like, last heckin' minute. But she wasn't even at the desk anyway, so I was kind of confused by that. But, how much is the goat again? Like, ten, like, five digits or something? Like, more than ten, like, I want to say, like, 15, 20,000. Something like that, right? Like, pretty expensive, but we have 30,000 right now. Oh, what? Man, oh, I accidentally, oh! Kind of wasted that right there. Well, I have, I have a pretty good amount of them. I think I have even more of them up in storage. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. I was about to say, like, did something happen? Did I accidentally just eat an egg right there or something? But yeah, I was, I was trying to scroll over to the egg and did a little bit too much right there. Kind of hecked it up a little bit. But I'll keep the mayonnaise and the uh, the cheese in my inventory. We can sell it directly to Pierre. I do believe everything's already been pet because I don't see the hand icon above anything right now. Oh, wait. Oh, the bunny. Oh, I think the hand, yeah, I think the hand icon there was because of the uh, opening the gate function or whatever you want to call that right there. Now, I don't know when the wheat's going to be done. It said four days, I think, so yeah, three more days, so uh, on fall eight. So cool. So we're, those are going to be done. We'll be able to make beer out of them in the kegs. We're going to get wheat flour out of them in the mill and pickled wheat as a vegetable or pickled wheat. I don't know what that even means. <laughs> we'll be able to get pickled wheat out of it from the preserves jar, which uh, well, that doesn't tell me anything about it, but uh, pickled wheat. Is that, uh, yeah, 140, yeah, not really worth that much, but then again, you're, oh, whoa, more, uh, ancient fruit are done right there, awesome, unfortunately, it looks like we didn't get any, uh, any lightning rod, any batteries from the lightning rod right there, which kind of sucks, though, but we got, uh, two ancient fruit right there, I do want to go grab some, doesn't look like anything got struck, oh, wait, yeah, oh, wait, oh, no, 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 look at this, the apple and the pomegranate are done right now, oh, my gosh, were they done yesterday? I hope they weren't done yesterday and we missed out on one, but we can finish the uh, Enchanters bundle now. We need three apples, I think, for the fodder bundle. Yeah, we need three apples there, but we only need one pomegranate. Yeah, oh, we need one pomegranate for the enchant. We can finish that. And then uh, Chef's bundle. Yeah, still waiting on the truffle there. I guess I could check up on the pig again, even though I've been doing this like every heckin' episode. But uh, the pig is on fall eight. It's going to grow. Okay, cool. So on fall eight, we're probably going to get our tr first truffle or maybe fall uh, nine or so. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we have more coffee done over here, of course, so let's get more coffee beans. I guess we'll do, I don't know how many more times we're going to do this until I go back to, like, making watermelon juice or watermelon wine or whatever that is. But uh, I'll keep doing it right here. There you go, like so. Is there any, I, oh, this one right here on this corner. Cool. Awesome. And yeah, you guys did indeed say I can upgrade the shed. Oh, man, how many, uh, how many seeds did I get right there? Got four seeds, amazing. Yeah, let's go grab some more of the uh, really good grow fertilizer, whatever it's called. Oh man, we got some star shards for the first time right there. Cool. Guess we'll sell those to Clint. And uh, let's, be, let's get four of those. Awesome. Let's go teleport over to the, uh, what is it called? The greenhouse now. 
And these are going to be probably still going to be done faster than the original ancient fruit that I planted, right? So this is going to be amazing here, you guys. Then, uh, one, two, two, three, four. Cool. Let's get the uh, fertilizer like so. Boom. And when's it going to be done? Uh, whoops, that's myself. <laughs> Let's see, uh, 21 days. Hey, there it is right there. There's that number. But fall 26 compared to like the first ones that I planted down, which are going to be, uh, oh, no, never mind. The same, same, they're all going to be done the same day. Okay, cool. So these are all going to be done the same day, except for like these right here. Uh, I don't know how many I've actually planted, but those are going to be done like a day or two beforehand. What about the, uh, rare, whatever, sweet gem berry? Those are going to be done in 17 days on fall 22. Interesting. But yeah, they're not going to continue to produce afterwards, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Oh yeah, look at this. By the way, the uh, fish pond is done. Cool. I guess we'll go grab the ghost fish and put it in there. But I haven't checked up on the mushroom cave in like a while. I'm actually kind of surprised I forgot about that. I, I was always adamant about checking up on it all the time and all the kind of jazz. But let's go teleport back over to here. Go grab the ghost fish or whatever. No, not the ghost fish. The spook fish. The ghost fish was like kind of trash, right? Yeah, there you go. We got the spook fish. I don't know the wall eye is good. I guess I'll check. Wall eye. Eh, 229 for the row there and... 82 right there, yeah. So if we look up the uh, spook fish, spook, like aged spook fish row. Yeah, 392, that's really good money there. And that's in what? What do you put that in? Uh, the preserves jar, okay, cool. So you don't have to put it in the keg. We can still use that for like watermelon and pumpkin and whatever else, right? But uh, let's just go over there. I, I assume, can you just do one at a time or can you put multiple fish in here at a time or something? I don't know, let's see, how does this work? Fish can be placed into this pond, yeah. Uh, so how do I do that? Do I just pull the fish and then just... Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, okay, you could do three pond, three up to three of them right now. Awesome, nothing to complain about. And what if I could upgrade this? Empty pond, change appearance. Ooh, change appearance. Ooh, look at that. You can kind of see in the background some of the stuff changing there. What does that look? Oh, I think that's the default. You can kind of have some, like, something just sitting there. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Rent a bucket there. Ah, I don't know. That's kind of blocking the pathway a little bit. Eh, I should probably change that pathway too. And that kind of gets rid of all that. Eh, it kind of cleans it up a little bit. I like that, honestly. Let's keep it like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, but what, what, what? I forgot what else you want to do today. <laughs> Where's the uh, crab? There it is right there. Crab cake. I still have wheat seeds. I guess I could put that up in storage as well. Some of the other random stuff I have. I'm going to put the apple up over here until we have three of them, just so I don't like accidentally sell it or accidentally gift it to someone or whatever else. But the pomegranate, we do need to gift that. I forgot to put the coffee beans up, unfortunately, so that sucks. <laughs> need to do that, don't want to forget about that. Uh, but yeah, let, let, let me put the seeds up over here, say, and there, there you go. And then uh, all this stuff I'm going to be able to sell here in just a minute. I don't know about the wild debate, though. Uh, let's put that in the chest outside with all the other stuff, like the rings and the extra weapons and whatever else. This chest right here. Yeah, I'm like, I have other like, these things right here. Tackle. Fishing tackle. <laughs> I have extra of those anyways, right? So I guess we'll just get rid of them like that. And then uh, hopefully all the chickens and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully I have enough food over there. Uh, just because I forgot to make. Oh man, yeah. Well, I guess good thing I came back over here. And now we can do another round of coffee. Yeah, once we get more of those kegs over here, which I forget how much, how much wood and whatever else you need to make one of those. 30 wood, one copper, one iron, one oak resin. Yeah, we could definitely get those. The iron's the thing that's been holding us back there. I definitely need to go mining some more, but... Uh, Unfortunately, none of our lightning rods actually gave us any, uh, batteries, so that kind of sucks. Like, all of our lightning rods previously did, but now they're not, so that kind of sucks. But let's go to Pierre, let's go sell some of the stuff. Actually, alright, let, let, let me grab the horse, put him, like, park him, like, right here. Uh, let's go check on the mayonnaise makers, and cheese makers, whatever else. See if we can get anything extra out of that. I need to get another coffee. Yep, those are done. Awesome. So we'll be able to get some of the extra money, like, right now. We'll also be able to go over to Marnie and, uh, hopefully buy another goat or whatever there and get some really good money out of that thing here in the future, right? But, uh, for right now, let's get the mayonnaise. There you go. Let's go over to Pierre. Let's go empty his bank account again. And then, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll go mining right now. Maybe off camera or something like that. I don't know. I, I did say... Oh, yeah, these are done right here. Cool. And some plums, too. Yeah. Whenever we pick those up off the ground... Are those plums? What are those? Yeah, pl wild plums. Yeah, those are, and we got double right there too. So we got three of them, even though there's only physically two of them on the ground. Uh, and a third one up there, amazing. Um, but yeah, remember every every forage thing that we pick up now is guaranteed to be highest quality. So iridium, look at that, boom. Iridium quality right there. So I wonder how much money we get out of those. 160 each, 640 for all four of them. Not bad money. We can make the fall seeds uh, bundle out of that with the blackberry and all that kind of stuff. Interesting. Anyways, let's go over to Pierre's shop, like I said. And, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I definitely need to fish some more. Especially because, uh, until 7 p.m. to get the salmon right. Because I didn't get any of them last episode, or yesterday, unfortunately, and it's already Friday. Uh, 
get four carp. Yeah, you know what? That's good. Like I said right there, it's just going to be one I'm going to be doing in the background. Anyway, I'm probably going to catch all four of them and not even get a single salmon. So <laughs> I guess I'll just do this quest there. 120 gold and I get to keep the fish. Awesome. Let's go talk to Pierre, though. Oh, look at that. There's Abigail and uh, Harvey there, too. But let's sell. Yeah, sell the plums. I don't really care. Honestly, there you go. Cheese. Yes. Mayonnaise. Yes. More mayonnaise. Boom, boom. And then the pomegranate. I'm going to keep that. Uh, crab cake. I don't know where. Where is? I could physically see him here. Okay, he's in his house. I don't know. Am I good enough friends with him, uh, Elliot, to go into his house right now? I don't know. I need to go double check that. I don't know what the what's the luck today. I don't. I don't remember. I think I checked it and I didn't remember. <laughs> hey, I got some trash right there. At least I'm able to recycle that, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then there's Evelyn over there, and there's a blackberry right there. Uh, yeah, I need to go into here to actually go grab that, but uh, yeah, I'll grab it anyways. I'm like, whenever I have iridium quality, like guaranteed. Oh, and it's Friday too. Do I want to go buy another iridium sprinkler from the sewer guy? I'm like, I have forty three thousand gold. I've got, I've got a lot of money, and I got double blackberry right there too. Look at my inventory. I guess it depends how much a goat costs. Maybe I'll buy another pig too, because we only have one right now. Yeah. And about, oh, yeah, the pig was like 18,000 or whatever, right? So the goat's probably like maybe 10,000 or something. I don't know. I forget. But even even then, I still have enough money left over to get the sprinkler. They were in a sprinkler, but I don't have all four of them in the. Uh, oh, yeah, I have four of them in the greenhouse, but I need six of them to have a full coverage over there. Yeah. And I do need to get the uh, star fruit seeds, which, by the way, how much do those cost if I wanted to buy them from the uh, Sandy star? fruit? I think they were like 500, I think. Uh, it doesn't say I have to look it up in the other uh, thing, unfortunately, so that sucks. Uh, but I, th I, I want to say they're 500 each uh, seed or something like that, right? Uh, to buy it from Sandy. So I don't know. Maybe on the way back, maybe we'll go buy the uh, original sprinkler or something. But I, I hope I'm good enough friends with uh, Elliot. Oh, this is the first time ever going to this house, by the way. And we got a cutscene here. We got a heart event. Cool. Oh, awful. Come on in. Hey, how's it going, Elliot? You got a really nice place here. Big old piano over there. This is a lot bit bigger than I thought it would be. It's like bigger on the inside than compared to the outside. It's like a TARDIS or something. Welcome to my humble, well, shack. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty nice, very homely. This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. Oh yeah, looks nice and quaint. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a writer. Have I told you that? No, you haven't really. Yeah, I don't really know too much about you, Elliot. I need to talk to you more. This is why we probably have a few uh, heart events lined up that we're going to get like back to back now, huh? That's why I live out here by myself. I figured a lonely life by the sea would help me focus on my literary aspirations. Well, yeah, that's actually a good way to put it. You know, nothing to really distract you except for the calming sea of nature or whatever, right? Interesting. Everyone back home said I was nuts. Well, this is actually sounding kind of like uh, Leah's story, huh? Uh, that I could never make it as a writer. Yep, it sounded just like Leah, but the male version of it, I guess, huh? Can you believe it? They said, for every successful author, there's a thousand who fail miserably. Such pessimism. It's sickening. Yeah. Well, you will never know if you don't try, right, Elliot? I can see it in your eyes. You believe in me, Waffle. You've got that spark. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're right, Elliot. You can do it. I wonder if we're going to get a sample of his writings over here. Kind of like we got a sample of uh, Leah's art. Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, man, he's surprised. A uh, question. Uh, what kinds of books do you like, Waffle? Mystery, romance, sci-fi. Probably sci-fi, honestly. Just because I'm like my name, the Waffle Galaxy, like space stuff. So let's do sci-fi there. See what he says about that. I would have never guessed. I suppose even those of the earthiest profession sometimes have their heads in the stars. Oh yeah, because I'm a farmer, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, that's cool. Well, enough about me. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, isn't it? And I have a gift. A fresh, well, day-old crab cake. <laughs> huh, you probably know about plants, don't you? Yeah, I'm like, what gave it away? Me being a farmer. Would you mind taking a look at this rose here? I'm afraid it's not doing so well. Well, maybe give it some fertilizer, maybe some light. I'm like, it's far away from the window. It's not getting them enough light. Oh, whoa. What happened? I'm actually... I can't actually do anything about it. Okay. I guess it just randomly ended right there. That's kind of weird. Anyways, Elliot. Happy birthday. You remember my birthday. <laughs> Thank you. This is great. So apparently he loves that. Thanks for talking with me. I'll be thinking about what you said. And anything... Oh, wait, what does that say? Why is there a magnifying glass there? It's not actually telling me anything about that, unfortunately. Oh, it looks like Elliot is trying to grow a bonsai tree. It looks cool so far. Huh. It's a mini palm imported from the Calico Desert. Interesting. Oh, now I could actually, uh, he's not in the way, maybe? Oh, Elliot's work desk is covered in notes and crumpled papers. <laughs> All right, what about the, uh, what about that picture? What is that? 
is a painting by Leah. Huh. I knew they had a connection. Oh, the keys of the... Wait, why are they playing different notes randomly? Hmm, I don't know about that. And I can't sleep in his bed, unfortunately. It's an empty cubby. Wait, there's a plant on it, though. No, I don't say anything about that. What about that book? A blank book? Oh, yeah, because he's probably writing a book, and that's just one of the extra blanks. There's a... Uh, yeah, it's growing the bombsite tree. Yeah, there's nothing else around here. Interesting. Well, anyways, I did see a clam down here. We do need that for some type of fertilizer. I forgot what it was. You need to get another espresso going. There we go. Yup, 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 yup. See if we get any. Oh, nice. Some coral right there. Awesome. Any more, uh, oh, sea urchin. That's good money, I think. And it's guaranteed, uh, iridium quality, too. Which also, that's going to be a good thing, too. Previously, like, we'd pick up, like, clams, sea urchins, uh, corals, all that kind of stuff. And they'd be, like, different qualities, like, Railer and Silver Star and Gold Star, etc. And they'd take up, like, multiple inventory spots. But now they're always going to be iridium quality. They're all going to take up just one inventory spot each, which is pretty cool. But I do believe, I think this counts as, uh, there you go. River, I, I guess I could check on this, right? Salmon. Salmon. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, forest, river, and town. So if I wanted to fish for the salmon, I need to actually be in the town, unfortunately. So actually, I, just, I, I guess I'll just do that real quick because I do want to get more progress. It's already Friday. Uh, there's a muscle right there. I guess we'll grab that. I don't know what it's actually for, though. Oyster, actually. Whoops, I got the wrong thing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, same thing there. I don't know what it's actually for. But we have only two hours. Hey, there's Elliot right there. I might as well fish, like, right here. Uh, just so I don't, I don't waste any time, right? Uh, don't want to. That's pretty good. Don't need to do maximum cast, or else, uh, yep. About, about mid. Yeah, right there, that's pretty, that's pretty, oh! Got a hit already! Ooh! Seems like it'll, eh, it might be a salmon, it's a little bit more difficult than, like, say, a, a chub or whatever. A little bit easier than the, uh, whatever that was that one time, I forgot what it was. Whoa! Yes, I got a salmon! 31, man, that's pretty big, it's almost three feet long, golly! Oh yeah, I don't want to do maximum cast, right, I don't have that much room. Uh, I might want to move over to the right, though, where that bridge is. Maybe I'll have a better ability to... Do maximum cast over there, right? But for right now, oh, we got another hit. There's Caroline in the background. Um, do I still want to go to the... I I guess we can go to the sewer guy. I'm going in that dr Oh, no, no, yeah, man, I forgot, yeah. I wanted to go over the Marnies and buy the uh, buy the animals, and I can't do that right now, unfortunately. Golly. Well, at least we're catching some other fish. Maybe we can get the, uh, the, the salmon if I have... I'm like, I have extra... I'm like, I could keep the salmon. Uh, I have two out of the ten, I believe, right? Uh, maybe I'll put a salmon in the, uh, the thing and see what the... I think I already looked at a salmon row. It wasn't really that good, right? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, like I said. Any good suggestions? Someone said something about a sturgeon. I didn't have that. Uh, we got a bream there. I do need to get the chubs, though, for Willy's, like, side missions, so... I'm not getting any luck there. I have about another hour left, so... Let me continue fishing here. I'll let you guys know if I have any luck. <laughs> oh, we got a, uh, treasure chest. Hold on. Got a lot of green there. Awesome. And the fish kind of stayed in the, uh, treasure chest, too. I did get a, uh... Oh, this is a smallmouth bass. I did get a uh, treasure chest and a perfect one time. It was off camera, though. Nautilus shell and... Uh, I don't think... If, if I got that mission for Clint, where he wanted 30 copper ore, I don't think that would have counted. Because I think it has to be, like, freshly in mind or whatever. Like, <laughs> got out of the sea or whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 30 minutes left. I'll let you guys know if I catch anything. Actually, now I think about it, I think... Isn't a chub a, a lake fish? I want to... I, I kind of want to look at it and see whether... Oh, man, another uh, treasure chest. I kind of want to see whether... Man, I missed out on perfect right there. I missed out on the treasure chest, too, but I got a salmon right at the end. 7 p.m. right now. I don't think... Uh, I think right now, I think it's too late to catch it, right? Yep, 7, 10 p.m. Okay, a little bit too late there. But I do want to check the chub. I think I think that's lake, right? Uh, Backwoods, Forest River, Mountain. Yeah, I, I guess in specific locations. So it's Forest River and the Mountain. So, I, I yeah, the mountain, I'm not in the right area here, unfortunately. And it's... I don't like it. It's literally all day. There's 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. So I could catch out one. I can go there right now and do that for Willie. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting anything right there. Unfortunately, that sucks. Marnie's closed. I don't, I don't think the sewer guy, I don't think he closes at any time. I guess I can go over there and just buy some, especially because I'm not going to buy anything from Marnie anyways, unfortunately. And I did get comments saying, oh, yeah, these are all uh, iridium quality now. Maybe I'll give him, I don't know, maybe give him a blackberry, iridium quality blackberry. Would he like this as a gift? Thank you. I feel like I've given him things before. Have I given him things? Neutral Blackberry, 64 unre unrevealed liked, 11 unrevealed loved, 385 dislikes, and 203 hates. So I guess that's kind of good that we got a neutral there. <laughs> so that's good, I suppose. Can romance? No, I can't romance a literal sewer monster, unfortunately. Ah, uh, dot, dot, dot. Uh, oh, yeah, I did get some comments, but you guys saying, uh, 
Oh no, this is the wrong. Oh man, crust of floor actually. Wicked statue? Ooh, return scepter, 200,000. Or no, that's 2 million. Wicked statue, yeah, I can't get that. I get the star drop though. Do I want to do that? I'm like, I could afford that and the Iridium Sprinkler for 10,000. Let's do that before I forget. I can get that and the star drop, which I think he only has one. Like after this, he's not going to be able to sell it again, I believe, right? I'm like, I have the money. It's just that I wanted to buy the animals and whatnot, but I should be able to afford them after, you know, selling some stuff. I'm like, it permanently increases your stamina, right? Your energy. Is that worth it buying it right now? Or do I want to save my money? I think I'm going to save my money at least right now. Maybe when I have like 50,000 or 100,000 or whatever in the bank, I'll, I'll feel a lot more comfortable spending 20,000. But when I have only 33,000, spending 20,000, that's going to get us down a significant amount of money.